many have died, and some worrying that it could grow into a full-blown pandemic. Well, one state, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, is preparing for that with a very controversial bill. Massachusetts proposing legislation that would allow police to forcefully quarantine residents and even impose martial law without a warrant. Could that possibly be constitutional? We've called in Fox News senior... of the legislature have enacted this law and once Governor Deval Patrick signs it and he says that he will, it'll become the law and it will allow him to declare an emergency and once he declares an emergency, he can authorize non-health care licensed personnel, read that to mean police, sure. to vaccinate people against their will. Now can they force adults to take vaccination? No. They will incarcerate adults without a trial, without charges, without even a search warrant for if used to be uh, vaccinated. This is what the statute authorizes. It also authorized the statute, uh, the statute also authorized the police to remove children from adults, vaccinate them against the will of the child and the will of the parents. This, this is so troubling on so many different levels. I mean, first of all, you think, wait a minute, they've got a great big uh, list with everybody who got a flu shot's name on it? And are they going to just uh, have neighbors turn into other neighbors? <laughs> They're sick. Well, they haven't gotten the shot. It's interesting you say that. There, there is not a clause in the statute that requires you to report a neighbor, but the government will you encourage know, will. you to do it. Look, this, this is the reason why we have federal judges, mm -hmm. because federal judges in Massachusetts will have to take this statute and compare it to the Constitution. And the Constitution says the police can't break into your home, right. and the police can't take your children away from you, and parents decide what medication the children get, not the government. Man, the first time, if this were to happen, and the first time they, some cop goes in and gives some kid a shot, it's going to hit the fan. Yes, it will. And the state of Massachusetts will be sorry it enacted this, because people will revolt against it. All right, uh, Judge Andrew. now recommend all children six months and older get the flu vaccine, but one state has created an uproar by requiring parents to give their young children the flu vaccine, or they will be kept out of school. Sharon Alfonsi reports from New Jersey. The ritual that brings tears to so many children's eyes now has some parents screaming right along with them. State of New Jersey now mandating every child who attends daycare or preschool to get the flu shot or they'll be kicked out of class. All Americans should be legally forced to play vaccine roulette with their child. Worried vaccines could cause everything from asthma to autism, they rallied outside the New Jersey State House this week. There are similar battles playing out. Maryland school officials threatened to put parents in jail if they didn't get the required vaccinations for their children, arguing those parents were putting other people's kids. Three years, 20,000 more U.S. troops, but not to Iraq or Afghanistan. According to Pentagon officials, these men and women will be stationed inside of the U.S. Thousands of additional uniformed men and women said to be trained by 2011. They'll serve as a response to a possible mass terror attack or civil unrest following an economic collapse. So how concerned are Americans about this? 20,000 more troops here in the U.S.? I have not heard any of that, actually. No, I have not. It's the first time I've heard of it. Ben Friedman of the Cato Institute, a libertarian think tank, explained what this bombshell will mean for the U.S. 
Is this just the beginning of this expansion of presidential authority, of military authority here in the U.S.? I hope not. Uh, we've seen the expansion of the use of Even some foreigners, such as this South African political scientist, don't think it's such a good idea. These are your citizens. They deserve your protection, but not to the extent that it becomes uh, a militarized uh, police state. So I think we've had eight years of that, and I think that's more than enough. But the real concern might be that Americans are depending too much on U.S. troops. Troops. What we should worry about is that the United States citizenry will become overly dependent on the military to deal with what are essentially government. <laughs> So, will a martial law be declared in America? Will America declare martial law as a result of a national emergency declaration by the U.S. President? By the way things are looking, a martial law and a police state will be declared in America. In order for a martial law to be declared, there must be a state of emergency because the Constitution requires that the only way an individual's rights may be suspended is only if a national emergency has been declared by the U.S. President and did the world not witness such an event which took place in 2009. Breaking news, in just the past few minutes came word that President Obama has declared the H1N1 flu outbreak to be a national emergency. In just released documents, the President finds that the rapid increase of illness may overburden health care resources and that... Hello to you, Brian. In this emergency declaration, the President wrote that the potential exists for the pandemic to overburden health care resources in some areas. That declaration reads in part, quote, the temporary waiver of certain standard federal requirements may be warranted in order to enable U.S. health care facilities to implement emergency operations plans. Now, by making this declaration, the government could temporarily do away with certain requirements of Medicare, Medicaid, and other federal... Just recap very quickly. In the last few minutes, we have learned that late last night, the president signed an emergency declaration saying that the H1N1 flu virus has now reached the status of a national emergency. And by doing this, by signing this proclamation, he is basically waiving certain federal standard requirements on a case by case basis. People in the research community, even scientists who helped uh, develop the vaccine for smallpox are saying they're not going to take the vaccine and are urging their friends and family not to take this vaccine either. And what kind of side effects did these children have, if any? Well, contained in the vaccine is a, 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 a component called thimerosal, which has been proven, uh, it, it, half of it is composed of mercury, and it's been proven to cause not only Guillain-Barre syndrome, but also autism in young children. There's been several court cases uh, because of past uh, vaccination.